How's it going y'all? Femi here and I am super excited to be back at it with another Facebook Live. Once again, if you're watching the replay, there's going to be a lot of content coming at you with regards to reboot, mindset, business, life, and health-based goals. So today's video is going to actually be on the topic of when do you need to pivot your life, business, or health-based goals. So this topic is going hand in hand with one of the new Facebook lives that I'll be doing in our group, really talking about pivoting, you know, a change of direction, a change of course, why people do this, why you may need to do this and understanding the importance this will really have in changing the trajectory of what you want to see when it comes to your goals. Now, pivoting is something that that is, is, is a really useful approach and a useful strategy when things are not going the way you want it to. And I'll kind of outline a lot about that that's, that's in the book, Reboot. So if you haven't picked up a copy of Reboot, definitely take a peek at that one. But the idea is this. When you are going through life and you're, you're working to achieve a specific outcome, things may pop up, right? You may start to change. You may start to evolve. You might start seeing certain things that are either not in alignment to who you are, but that will dictate you needing to either stay focused on a specific task or finding more resources that you have access to and going in a separate direction. That's what I call a pivot, right? Now, if you're thinking of why someone may actually pivot or why you may need to pivot, I'm going to outline three main reasons that will cause you to pivot your life, your business, or your health towards something more of significance to you. So the first one is you're not satisfied with the results. Now, if, if I were to think about the concept of why we're doing a particular action or why we're doing a particular thing, it always ties back to the results you want to see. If you're looking for success, what does success look like? If you're moving towards a specific outcome and what you're seeing is not aligned to that level of success, you're not seeing the results you want to see, that will motivate you to start changing things. You might be talking about nutrition. Let's say you're not eating the right foods or you're eating a certain type of food and you're not seeing your body change the way you want it to or your physical activity is not really getting to that goal you want for fitness or fat loss. That might be an example. Business-wise, let's say you're, 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 you tried a certain business model for a long period of time and it's not producing the results you want to see. This is an example of you saying, you know what, I'm not giving up, you know, I'm not giving in, I'm gonna find a way to change the course of direction or change the strategy and the approach to achieve the same outcome. So if you're not satisfied with the results that you're seeing, that will motivate you to actually pivot. So just think about if that ties to you, then you might wanna use the actual pivot tool or the pivot strategy, right? Number two, if you're really kind of looking at what you're doing at this moment and it's not aligned to your vision, that will motivate you to pivot as well, right? That's another reason why you might want to think about, let me try something different. Let me try a different approach. Let me let me see how I can achieve this outcome better because it just doesn't feel right, right? This might happen if you've been doing something for a long period of time and what you've been doing just doesn't mesh anymore. You might need to change the strategy, right? You might need to change what you've been doing and that's okay. Like I'm, I'm actually going to make that point to say that it's okay if you're feeling like you're beginning to change. That's actually point number three, right? Like point number three is if you're starting to change, um, the goals that you're looking to achieve have evolved because you've evolved. You have to realize that pivoting or changing your course of direction and the strategy you're going to use doesn't mean you've stopped, right? It means that you're using a different tool. You're using a different process, you're using a different model to get to the same outcome of success. And I'm going to tie this all back into that thought process of success. If you know what is significant to you, right? I talk about this a lot, right? If you know what is significant to you, you're going to set up the structures around your life that allow you to achieve the success that you want to see. So if you're finding that the results you're achieving are not nothing near what you want to see, you might need to pivot into the right direction as long as you're locked into something that's important to you, right? Same thing when we're talking about going over your vision, right? Let's say you're not aligned to your vision anymore. The things you're doing just is not in alignment. You might need to pivot towards finding what's important to you again and going into that direction, right? Same concept if you're feeling like you've evolved. You've, you've accumulated a lot of experience over the years. You realize you've hit a certain level of success that you're like, okay, I'm ready for that new chapter. You might need to pivot into something else using all of those skills, using all of those abilities to create an impact. So think about where you are right now, right? There's a power and a gift that you can find by taking whatever you find important, right? Whatever skill, whatever things really important to you 
and pivoting that ability into an area of greater significance in your life. So think about that for your life. You know, let's say, let's say the things that you find around you are really not what you want to see. You could actually start setting up tools and systems to achieve better success the way you want to see it. Same thing for business. If business and entrepreneurship, you've been driven, building something, you're, you're passionate about it, but you're not really looking at the results you want for it. You can start pulling the resources from the skills you've gained from that previous objective of building it and pivot into the right direction to get better results, right? Same thing when it comes to your goals. If you're finding that you've put in the work, you've put in the time, you've seen the success over the years, but you've grown, you've outgrown the level that you're in, that is okay. That's a sign that you may need to pivot. No matter what, no matter where you are, you can use the resources you have access to to take action. That's pretty much it. So really take time to reflect. You know, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment. But the idea is you right now can take the tools and information you have and drastically transform your life, right? Don't think that pivoting means you're stopping. Don't think that pivoting means you're giving up. Pivoting is simply taking all of the experiences you've accumulated over the years and moving in the direction that is significant to you. So hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Once again, we'll be doing content like this pretty much every single weekday, but comment if there's a specific topic you want to learn more information about, whether it's entrepreneurship, whether it's life, whether it's business, whether it's health. The idea is we are here. I am here to help you reboot. All right. So hope you're having a great day. Feel free. Check in next time. Have a good day.